Hey, well, my name is Plamen. I'm a third year PhD student here at the University of Birmingham. Uh, and my project is on, uh, deals with fossil sharks, but today I'm going to present something different. And it's a very bizarre looking uh, geologist fish from the Upper Siberian. There is a big morphological gap between geologist vertebrates and, the, and, and geol vertebrates. And this gap is filled in mainly by fossil taxa from the Paleozoic very diverse group, groups of geologists fish from the Paleozoic. Studying these groups is really important to understand um, a major transition in the evolutionary history of vertebrates, which is you know, the, the origin of, of geod of vertebrates or geod fish. One of the most interesting groups in that respect is the Osteostracans, which, which are considered uh, as um, a group which is the most closely related to geod fish because they exhibit some really derived characters. Uh, and we have a lot of uh, Ostostracan specimens here in the museum, but this one here is particularly important because it shows the, pretty much the whole fish minus the tail. So we have uh, the head and the body attached to each other. Okay, this, this specimen was donated to the museum in 1974. It comes from the, the Gorno sandstone, which, is, uh, which has been dated at that time. Uh, as Carboniferous, but after the discovery of this specimen, we know now that the age of, of this rock formation is upper Siburian. Okay, and if we look at closely a model of a closely related genus, you can see some of the derived features of those two strachans, uh, and particularly these pectoral fins. So, those two strachans possess a really important feature that kind of links them to jawed vertebrates, and that's the development of paired, paired fins. And it's through examination of such well-preserved specimens that we know about that, because in this specimen you can see them right here.